time for another video. This time, update one on Microsoft Teams Rooms on Android. So let's see what we're going to get in the new version. So within the Microsoft Message Center, there is already a post detailing all the information. So we're going to get joined by meeting ID. So be able to walk into any device and join it with our meeting ID that we have on our device already. This is also cross tenant. So if you've been invited externally, just pop in the ID and you get into a meeting. We then have the meet application. So how do we meet? So today when you hit the meet now button, it asks who do you want to call? Now it starts that meeting straight away and you get to add your participants. So the same experience as your Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows that you may have had. Next up, we have room reservation. So if you have the pro license assigned to your meeting device, you are then able to extend the reservation. So during a call, you tap the three buttons and extend room reservation. It saves you modifying that Teams or Outlook invite or even going outside the room to the Teams panel outside and extending the reservation. So nice and simple from the center of room console. And here we have front row available on single or dual display, 16 by nine layout. And we have a great array of options available to us and I'll show you that shortly. So along with front row, we have the ability for meeting chat. So down the side of the meeting in meeting uh, standard gallery, large gallery, together mode, we can now put that meeting chat on the front of room display as well. And also within the settings, there's lots of options now to enforce it, have it on all the time, etc., or even default to front row. We now also have HDMI audio. So being able to ingest the audio into the device and also tell it to always play audio or you have to select it. So a great option there for more granular, granular control and also for auto sharing. So if you do have a device permanently plugged into your neat board, for example, it won't automatically share. You have to hit the share button. So great manual control over that HDMI sharing now. And also, as I mentioned, HDMI audio. So being able to transmit audio live in a call or even out of a call. So if you're just in the meeting space, being able to plug in your laptop and share that. Also, collaborative annotations. So if you have a neat board like I have here and someone shares that desktop, whether it's Windows or Mac, you can then co-create over the top. And if you're running Teams Premium, you have that license assigned to a user and you enable watermarking, then the Microsoft Teams Rooms on Android adheres to that license now as well with this update one. And that's it. That's all the, the news, all the news. It's lots of news in update one and rolling out sometime in March into April, depending on which OEM. So let's check it out on the neat board. So here I have my neat board. And as you can see, I've got joined by ID. Now, if we have a touch console, that is then put under the more option. So you, you would have to hit more and then you see join by ID on the panel there. On the board, we get to see it up front. And just to show you as an example, join by ID, you can input your ID. So let's just, uh, I've got my ID here. Let's put it in. And don't forget your passcode, which is case sensitive. And there we go. Join by meeting ID. So that's one great feature. Uh, next up is meet now. So I hit the meet button and we're instantly into that meeting. So you're ready to start collaborating with who you need to and a pop up here on now who you want to um, invite to the call and also the meeting ID details so we can add participant and then add people away. So much, uh, much cleaner workflow there. That's number two. So share, um, we can share audio. So for example, I can go to a, another tab now. And as you can see, I've got a video playing here. I'll mute it. That's coming out of the laptop. I then change it to my meet device. And now I've changed it to the neat board. We've got the music coming out the neat board. So that's HDMI audio outside of a meeting. So that's really cool. And let's have a look at the other options we have available to us. I go into our settings, uh, device settings, admin settings, and we put in our password. Remember now it's the last six digits of the code. And we go into our calling. We can see anything new in here. Uh, I've got my policy enabled, and then that should be on. And I've got, what else have I got in here? I've got my HDMI audio settings now. So you can decide, do you want to always share, like there has been, the current behavior, or we can turn that off, so you have to press the share button. So that's for, for example, if you have something permanently connected to your neat bar or neat board in the room and include audio 
And I'll show you that in a call as well. We can choose to enable or disable audio. So that's really cool. Uh, under meetings, what else have we got that's new? So we've got meeting chat, uh, extend room reservations. That's where we can now extend that in the meeting. So we can turn that on. And layout. So I have the option to default to front row. So if I want this to be able to have front row all the time, I can, I can uh, force that in here as well. So this is the cool bit now. Meeting chat, extend room reservation. All very good. And then let's head back out. And let's see some of the layout options. First of all, let's join our call. So here's our standard uh, meeting uh, with lots of friends in here, people in the call already. And down here, I can go to our layout button. And as you can see, I can go large gallery and it goes into large gallery so we can see everyone at once. So this is over nine people anyway. Uh, we can go into our together mode, which we've always had as well. Can we see everyone in the frame? And now I can go to front row. So we get our chat down the side. We get the meeting uh, details over here. Now, if I spotlight someone, let's spotlight uh, Adele here, for example. And then Adele is on the main screen. So if I then spotlight someone else, let's say Alan, add him to the spotlight. And as you can see, we see Alan there as well. So great use of front row. We've got our chat there as well. And if I just come through with a message, so you can see the message comes in high. We don't use the chat bubbles now, we've got front row enabled. So what else can we do? We can actually disable the chat so we can go full screen. So uh, another option there on that. And we can go to large gallery, for example. We can also switch the orientation, so we've got people down the side instead. And then we can also enable chat on the large gallery view as well. So lots of options here. And then when I do hit share content, I can share my connected audio and I can include the audio. So when I select that now, you can see we have a great layout. We have the spotlighted people and I also have my client in the call. And then let's play some audio. That's coming out and playing through the rest of the participants too. So it's playing on all my other MTRs in here as you could just hear at the end there. That is another way of doing content sharing uh, during a call. And as you see through here, through the, the options, we have meeting info. So we can get that ID and password code. We still got our live captions, uh, remote camera control. We also have remote control that's available too. And also that extend that reservation. So we can extend that booking directly from the, the device itself. What else is new have we got in here? Collaborative annotations. Let's show you that. Let's pop up my Teams client. And actually, I'm just going to share and show you what front row looks like with, let's say, a PowerPoint Live as well, so you get a nice feeling for that. So let's uh, upload a document. So now from my laptop, PowerPoint Live, sending it into the call. And remember, we've still got our friends spotlighted. So they're uh, on view there. But also remember, because I've got touch control here, whether it's my neat pad that's in the call or I've got the board, I can take control of the slides. So I can simply now view my slides, take control, have presenters, nice and simple, see the full neat lineup. All the devices have the update one, so neat board, neat bar, neat bar pro, touch panels uh, for center of room uh, console, get them. And obviously we have our Teams display device as well. So nice and simple, very easy. And again, from your desktop client or from anywhere else, you can choose to spotlight, unspotlight, etc. So again, it auto rotates and works out the best layout for the participants too. So team is doing its magic there. So let's have a look at collaborative annotations. So we'll stop presenting. We'll take that off. And let's now share my desktop from my client I've got here. So let's go uh, screen share. We we'll do the full screen. So when you use collaborative annotations, you have to use um, the full screen share. So now we're sharing our screen. At the top here, you'll see the collaborative icon. So we hit that icon there and we start our annotation. Now, as you'll see, it's now starting the annotations here on my device. And obviously with my neat board, I can either use my finger or I can use the pen. So really simple then to collaboratively annotate over the top 
of someone else's work, whether they're Windows or Mac, using that full desktop client. Again, up the top here, we've got all our colors, so we can press and hold, choose our size, layout, etc. And we can say, okay, we need to update this setting here. And again, that's reflected on the desktop client. So that is update one on the device. I think you'll agree, lots of great features now here in update one on the Microsoft Teams rooms on Android, coming very soon for all the neat devices. Any questions, let me know below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.